Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you're watching to the MKR Developer channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the data from the activity and pass it to the fragment. This is the fourth video of this playlist. Uh, in the previous videos of this playlist, you watched uh, how to implement uh, the fragments and control them by the buttons, open them by the buttons. And uh, I showed you how to close the fragment by pressing the back button. And also I showed you how to implement widgets like button into the uh, fragment and by pressing this set text, we change the text of the banner, the text view. You can find the link of these videos and the whole playlist uh, here on top and into the description below. And uh, now, in this video, as I said, we will uh, take data from an edit text and I will implement it here. And by pressing this second fragment, we will go to the second fragment and display the text instead of this uh, banner text. Let's do it together. For this, in the main activity layout, I need a plain text. I will add it here and if you don't know how to use an edit text, you can watch the video about it uh, by clicking on this link. Here, I will change the ID of the edit text to edt1. And also, I don't need this text so I will change it to hint and the name can be write something please and I will change the text size of this edit text to 30 SP and it will be more visible okay that's enough for this let's go to the main activity or maybe let's go to the layout of the second fragment here we need an ID for this text view as well so I will change it to txt fr2 uh, the text view of the second fragment and now let's go to the main activity dot kt here is the uh, set and click listener function that we implement for the second button and by pressing this button the uh, fragment will be open before we are opening the fragment we have to put the data into a bundle you may ask what is a bundle a bundle is a kind of uh, like a container that any type of the data that you want into it to transfer it between activities or maybe from the activity to the fragment. Here I will create a bundle. Then I have to put my data into this bundle. So bundle dot put. Now you can see here a list of the different type of the values, the variables. I mean, just like a string, the bundle itself, byte, byte array, character, character sequence, float, integer, short, and everything. So to put anything into the bundle, you need two different parts. First of all, as you see here, we need a key, which is a string type, which is the name of the variable, and then the value of the variable itself. So I will uh, use the string for this video. So put a string, and then the name, the key, 
anything can be so i will write a string because the type is a string and then the value uh, for the value i have to initialize my edit text here equals to find view by id the type is edit text r dot id dot edit one and now here i can use it so edit one dot text dot to string i will take the text of the edit text and uh, change it to the S string and put it into the bundle and now uh, here I initialize the second fragment so I can use it dot arguments equals to my bundle now I put the data into the bundle. Uh, I have to go to the fragment and extract the data now. Let's go to the second fragment and here, as you may uh, remember in the first video of this series, I told you if we want to use the fragment as a banner, we can delete this overrided function on create view and just uh, write the id of the fragment here but for this video we want to implement and use the widgets on our fragment so we cannot use this way i will delete this and uncomment this now i have to press alt and enter to implement the libraries The libraries are imported now okay here now i have to take my data so i need my data uh, equals to argument and then here uh, the uh, text view I have to be, uh, initialize it here equals to view dot find you by id the text view and r dot id dot text view of the second fragment okay here dot text equals to the data we will check if it's not empty then get and then the key which was the a string then dot to string okay everything is good and uh, let me add something else here and plus
dollar sign. I think everything is okay. Okay, let's uh, check it on the emulator. And here is the second fragment banner and in the next line subscribe please okay that was everything about this video and i hope you enjoyed if you find this video interesting please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up and if you have any question please write down in the comment box below and i will be so happy to answer to your questions Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.